Good morning, beautiful beings. How goes it? Welcome to Free Flow and Fridays with me, Wingish Nibay Mijeki Kwe, or Wingish Nibish Mijeki Kwe. A mm. couple ways to say sweet grass water medicine woman in Ojibwe. Yep, also Christiana Carr and Chris Carr, superstar. Yep, this beautiful divine being right here. Yes, I am wearing my neck brace this morning. <laughs> I tried to go without it, but I got to, right? Got to suck it up and embrace these things to help my body. Because yesterday, I, yeah, I had a girl's day with my daughter, which turned out great because the boys both um, were able to go to this outing with Nogojiwanong. That's the Peterborough Friendship Center. Nogojiwanong is the way to say Peterborough in Ojibwe. So anyways... Yeah, so they had a little thing to go healing with horses, right? And like mini horses or whatever. So that was good for them. But it left Ariana and I free for the day. So that doesn't happen very often. And this popped into my head because Allie's son's birthday is today. So happy birthday to Allie's son. Um, because I didn't give you the shout out in the, lot in the video there. But here you go. Here's a shout out for your son. Happy birthday, Allie's son. Hope you have a great day. <laughs> um... Oh, yes, okay, free flow on Fridays. I talk, I share this stuff with my kids and, you know, my my humanness and all mother stuff. I do have a sparkle on my face. Squirrel! That's right. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I'm so tired. Yeah, I took my girl and um, she's got a lot of anger and frustration. And, yeah, she can act like quite the little bitch. But that is something... I do not say to her directly, right? If I do, times have slipped out, and I say, you guys are acting like, okay? And, and I separate, and it was really cool because Liam um, had said one time, so I was talking to somebody about that, saying, well, I really try to separate their beings from what they're doing, right? Because I don't want them to feel ashamed of their beings, right? I tell them they're absolutely perfect in their being, right? It's their doing that isn't always helpful, right? But they're beautiful, divine beings, right? And even in their doing, it's, it's, I tell them it's not good and bad. We have things that hurt and things that help, right? Um, and even when I'm frustrated too, I'll come back to them and say, look at, okay, what you did got me this upset. You know, why was this upset? Well, because this part wasn't you, but you need to take responsibility for your bit in there, right? So, I mean, it's a tricky thing, that parenting. And you know what? No matter how hard we try, our children are going to be traumatized in some way, either a big T or a little T. We, there really isn't anything we can do to prevent that, really. I remember going into, when I went into ECE, early childhood education, I did a year of that at um, Georgian College when my Andy Bear is 24 now. He was just before he was two. Um, yeah, he had his second birthday while I was in there. So, um, yeah, in that, in the psychology course, in that, um, oh, what was I going to say? They talked about, like, kids, like, say you had the perfect home, right? Like, your parents were together your whole life. You never had a want or need for anything. All your needs were taken care of, right? There was no stress. There was all of that. So, remember in psychology that kids or people that have grown up that way, like, everything was perfect, didn't have any close loss. They didn't have any kind of traumatic or stressful or crises happening in their family, parents together, blah, 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 right? They show up to high school and they are having anxiety disorders and being diagnosed with anxiety because they're freaking out over a pop quiz or an exam. So I learned at that time, which kind of helped me being a new mom at that time too, right, was that these things build coping mechanisms. And if we don't have any adversities or challenges or crises or stress for us to be able to get over, if we have no struggle, we will not know how to deal with struggle. We will not know how to deal with challenges. So, 
another way to reframe any kind of traumas or things that impacted us in a negative way, we kind of needed those to become who we are, to build those coping skills so we don't freak out over like a little tiny test, right? But to some, that could be such a big thing because the stress was always taken care of. And a lot of times in society these days, we have a lot of uh, helicopter parents. And, you know, because of our traumas, we want to protect our kids from the traumas. But in trying to protect them from the traumas, I think we probably even traumatize them more. You know? So it, for us adults, us, us littles and adult bodies here, that's our responsibility to go in and make sure we know what our traumas are big t's and little t's right big t so i know tbr i, I um i think trust-based rena relational intervention i don't know if they've trademarked that big t's and little t's because i remember talking about it at school too right um like big traumas you know like a being in a war-torn country or you know domestic violence and you know extreme stuff like that that would make most people might be traumatized by it. Doesn't mean all, but you know, there'd be like an obvious trauma. That's a big T, right? We're, we're like naturally disasters and things like that. Those are big T's. The little T's are, are, are the ones where we feel ashamed of ourself as a, as a, as a person, right? Like there's one example given in that conference that I did where the lady really wanted to get her daughter a doll. And they were all out and we had this big reaction. And as she was going in and looking at it, she discovered a little tea where she wanted one of these dolls when she was a little girl. And her parents were like, no, that's way too expensive. We never spend that much on a doll. But then Christmas approaches and she's with them as their parents buy this doll and send it overseas to, you know, third world country to the girl who would probably not ever get one over where she was. But... That woman, when she was a girl, then took that as, I'm not worth that much money. So that, that was a little T. We end up carrying those around until we name them. And we can feel ashamed of that, going, oh, now I feel selfish because, well, this girl, she wouldn't get the doll. So why am I feeling so upset that she got it and I didn't? Whatever. That's the stuff that we do to ourselves when we start feeling ashamed of ourselves. Um, that's one thing with my kids. I think I've done a pretty good job, but I think that's why they push me so much because they know. They know they are loved, and I've gotten that from the professionals that we've talked to. They understand a lot more, and, and I think so too. But then I'm like, I don't want to be projecting, right? So maybe they don't. And blah. But then that's been part of the, for me, what I was going through was the two. There was people kind of playing on. That mother part of me, because that's been such a passion. That's that's my number one dream, but to, to be a mom first, and my career was would come second, right? But that was that was always, right? And always to be a mom to help the world, right? Right? It was a, not a selfish thing for me. You know what I mean? That makes sense. And no judging or anything. There's no judging. It was just something for myself that that's what I saw. That. You know, there was a lot of young girls that didn't get that love in their family, right? And then they craved children because, hey, children meant unconditional love, right? And then we project our stuff on that child when it's not that child's responsibility, right? You, then we've given that child a job already into this world. Okay, you're here to make me happy. You're here to love me, right? <sighs> too much for, for, for a child. Of course, we feel that too. But, um, you know, that isn't the reason for having a child. Again, no, no judgment at all, because I completely can understand that, because I feel that too, right? I feel that too. There's part of me, so I've had, you know, I had to switch that. I want children, you know, because they'll love me. I'm like, no, no, I want to love them. I want children because I want to love them. <laughs> and, you know, help this world out, bringing more beautiful people into this world. And I have, right? If they just abuse me, then fine, right? As long as they treat the rest of the world with love and kindness. I think that's what's gotten me in trouble, though. Not in trouble, but having that attitude, right? 
because it's kind of like my nanny used to say, if they're talking about me, they're giving somebody else a break. Well, if you're over here abusing me, you're not going to be abusing the other people. Maybe. I don't know. Right? It's like, I could take it. And then this is telling me, I can't take no more. <laughs> it's forced me to. And excuse me, I got to take it off now because I can only wear it for a few minutes and then it feels worse. But it's been so hot, so I haven't been wearing it at all. Right? I only put it on for a few minutes, but... Man, I can't stand being hot, so that's... I'll deal with the pain. Instead of the heat. That's okay. Up to my medicine intake there. Ooh! I don't know if I'll be shuffling cards. That's why I thought I'd just come on this free flow and... Fridays, right? Yeah, kids go to their fathers this weekend. It's going to be a long weekend. Ooh, and then discovered they're going to have like a week with just the girl and I so we decided at the end of the week so in two weeks we're gonna have a girls weekend and Ariana and mama's girls weekend so that's gonna be great that's one thing where it's different right I've grown up with boys three brothers all younger and then three boys and the one girl right yeah she's helping me get in touch with that girly side because you know most of my life I'm not that girly <laughs> Nope, not at all. Proud to be a girl, just not girly, right? Getting there, and there's nothing wrong with it, right? Yeah, but when I was younger, I'm like, yeah, I'd rather be out crowing with the cocks and home bitching with the hens, clucking with the hens. Oh, there's a lot of the hens just bitched about the men. They just bitched about the cocks, right? So, it's like the kind of whoa man I want to be right every person has a story we all have big T's and little T's what traumatized me might not be something that traumatized you right oh that just flashed in my head that Gabor Mate oh I really like his work and his stuff and I've actually been following it for a while and the kids book I have his kids book hold on to your kids um Yeah, that's a good one too. I don't know where it is now. I'm trying to now my brain's going off trying to locate all my books because it's all in the garage. It's a mess, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, what was I saying about the uh, addiction? Not everybody traumatized will become addicted, but everyone that's addicted has been traumatized, right? Okay, not everyone. Okay, that has been traumatized will become addicted. But everyone who is addicted has been traumatized. Mm -hmm. And Gabor Mantis, um, I don't know if you've heard it, the, the, the um, definition of addiction. It's any behavior that gives you temporary pleasure but has negative consequences where you cannot cease from doing it. Right? Any behavior that gives you a temporary release or pleasure and then has negative consequences, but you still keep doing it. Okay? So that's like like anything. We can be addicted to shopping. We can be... It's behaviors. Things we ingest. Things we do. Free-flowing. Am, am I jumping too much all over the place? That's why it's free-flowing Friday. Who knows where we're going to go, right? <laughs> the birdies singing. Oh, did I finish telling you why this hurts? Because I did this flip around the bars that I used to do. I mean, it always hurts, but oh boy, I had to. I had to make a video. Maybe I'll upload it this year because I'll never be able to do it again. So something for my grandchildren. Well, I'll never say never. I don't like to say never. Seems a lot of times I say that. Anybody else experience that? Oh, that's never. And then, of course, it's like an invite. To the universe go oh really eh and let me show you <laughs> let me show you never right and you know why they say never say never anyways it'd be nice to do it again while my boys were there watching because I, I tried last year um i never i grew up always lived below the poverty line okay so so all the stuff that i learned i wanted to be in gymnastics um, in public school that I went to there, there was a girl that was in gymnastics. I would watch her on the bar and learn 
learned that way. Like I've already shared that I live vicariously, right? We couldn't afford those things. The one dance class that I had was uh, my big sister signed me up for that. Yeah. The jazz class. And then, you know, well, in high school and the gym classes and stuff like that. That's all. That's all. Figure skating, I'd watch figure skaters. I got pretty good on my skates, too. I can do a cartwheel on the ice. I could pull my leg up behind me. <laughs> Spin and skate backwards. Right? All that I taught myself. I'm a self-taught. Well, not really self-taught. I got to watch others, right? So, learn by watching and then by doing and practicing myself. I taught myself to ride my bike. I'd fall off and skin my knee and run back in and get a Band-Aid and be out there again. On a gravel driveway, right? Down slope, gravel driveway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My knee's still scary to scars. But that's the rough, it was a physical, physical girl, right? I've got told many times, I can't you know, lost count of how many times. You should have been a boy, right? I, I gave the boys a good run. I'd be out there doing spitting contests and everything. <laughs> Spit the furthest. Yeah, I could lots of times. Arm wrestling. Oh, yeah. That was fun in high school. I think it's grade 9 or grade 10. That felt cool. Yeah. Arm wrestling. There was a few guys beat them, and then there was that. The one guy, oh, you gotta give her a go. I'm like, oh, my elbow's sore. And I'm thinking, I know that. And I'm like, okay, fine, right? So then that guy won, but yeah, it was cool. There was like three or four of them in a room. I had a boyfriend I arm wrestled once. He went powdered in the bathroom. <laughs> no, I need, okay. He's gotta at least be emotionally stronger than me. <laughs> at least not physically stronger than me. <laughs> right? So, yeah, that didn't last very long. But that's 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 how I have been. Pretty much my whole life, right? It's that physical strength. I built that up. Because you know what? That's the crab in me, I guess, right? That physical strength was my hard shell to hide this really gooey center that, you no, know, don't love me too much. Um, because you're only going to love me when I'm happy. And I'm not always happy. You know? <laughs> I get sad. I get mad. You know, I get tired and grumpy and cranky and moody and PMS. And, you know, human being. I'm a wool man, right? So, yeah. I guess that's what that all that, that tough stuff was. And now I can't do it. Not I used to. And then... Dancing around like a crazy woman, so I'm trying to use my voice more now. I um, I got that singing app, Smule or whatever. It's a karaoke app a few years ago, so I've been trying to do it that way, and get used to singing, right, and sharing my voice that way. You know, I did um, community theater and did a musical there, and I thought, well, nobody was rolling around on the floor holding their ears, so I guess it's not that bad. So. I'm like so nervous. I, I started doing that and I record myself and I'm thinking, oh, I sound good as I'm in the bathroom. Maybe I'll record myself and then listen, listen to myself, right? Man, as soon as I hit record, I'm like, I'm just sitting here. Am I worried? I'm going to hear myself sing? <laughs> right? I've got that schmule app. It's all private. Like nobody can see it, but yet I get so nervous. But after a few years, like it has been more relaxed and, and doing my the drumming circles which we haven't had in a while but I think they're going to be coming back up practicing using my voice in that way so that's that was good for me too so I like I like doing that and maybe maybe there'll be a way that I can put up some of those schmool apps and I can post some of me singing well we'll see how that goes start putting that out there I can't, I can't do the physical, physical stuff like I used to, right? So there's other works and that other strength I need to work on. So no, I'm strong in here too, right? I can be strong for others and I'm learning to be strong for myself. I don't want to hurt anybody, right? That's hard. We can't, can't always help it. There are some people that are sensitive. There are some people that will choose to take things personally when it has nothing to do with them. So that's been a hard one. I'm still practicing that, right? 
I can, I'm responsible for what I'm putting out this way, right? But I'm not responsible for how they're taking it this way. Does that make sense? You know? Like, I'm responsible for my behavior that I put out there in the world, but I'm not responsible for the labels that other people might put on that. You know what I mean? With their projections. Right? Hmm. How do we how do we say that? Try and think of an example there. I'm sure you can think of your own. Um, oh, I'm so tired. What? Sorry. Excuse me. I'm awake now. <laughs> oh, I was up. I haven't been able to sleep very well either. Well, that's part I have. I have that. There is that diagnosis in there too. Insomnia. <sighs> from time to time lots going on lots clearing out had the women's circle I was trying to think of an example of something I know it'll come back maybe you can think of an example throw her in there <laughs> oh yes and, and Allie sent me a video that I can share with you it's so beautiful it's so beautiful of course you can't see the whole thing because it is a private reading right so of course she took her private stuff out of there but the more general stuff, and I think it's the way she put that together is really cool because it'd be beneficial for anybody watching it, right? Because we all go through these things, right? So she took out the parts of how it was personal to her. Um, yeah, that was very cool. Very cool. So that was, it, it's an example then of me doing a recorded reading, and I'd sent her a private link. And um, so only her and I can see it on the YouTube there. Um, but yeah, she just sent me one yesterday. I just finished watching it. So shorten the time down because it was a lengthy video. But she shortened it down to less than 20 minutes. So it's pretty cool. Right? And that just is an example. So if you'd like a reading too. Um, yeah, we, we could do that. We could do that. And all my subscribers right now. Say first 100 subscribers, and then we'll go from there. First 100 subscribers can get a free reading. Okay. A free, uh, I'll record it. A pre-recorded reading that I'll record personally for you, and then I send you a private link. So if you're interested, then uh, let me know. Email me. Yeah, speaking of my email, I figured out how to do an autoresponder, but then I noticed it puts some weird thing in the subject line. So I'm sorry, it, it just, I guess it randomly fills that subject line. Like I filled out the return email, like my wording there in the body of the email, but the subject line has some weird things. I guess they're ways of trying to catch your attention or whatever. So I apologize for those weird subject lines in my autoresponder for the email. I'll get in there again and figure out how to do that. Right now, just on my tablet, it's tough. I need to break out my laptop and that sorted out then all my cords and stuff have been all mixed up so that's why I just haven't I just haven't really dealt with that right now I'll just work it on my tablet because this is it's working working enough so far so that's what we'll do <coughs> so now oh, tired I want to draw a card I love the cards this it's not good. <laughs> oh, but I did find my rub. I thought I lost it, but I found my rub. So I'll get that rub done. Yeah. No, any massage therapists that I might do home visits and free massage therapy? <laughs> right? Someone just to come rub my oil on for me. That'd be great. Because I'm rubbing it on this side. It feels a little better. This side gets more tight. So I rub it on this side, and then all the looseness that just happened here gets all tightened up again. It's chronic. Chronic! Yeah. <laughs> I ain't no tight ass. I got tight neck. <laughs> okay, the other stuff. Okay, now we're just getting carried away. We are. Okay. I get carried away. It happens. It's okay. Right, so early on the board, I'm tired. <laughs> so, how's your feed for free for <laughs> free flowing Friday going? Woo! 
Okay. All right, let's try a card. I see I upped my medicine dosage, Ginger. Um, for those who don't know, I know I've explained before, like I had the hot chocolate. I used to have tea, but I'm trying to switch my habits in the morning because it used to be just water, whatever. But I'm doing this hot stuff with a little bit. I actually do a, tea, a little bit of coffee. So I guess that's actually called a mocha, something like that, I guess. Uh, caffeine helps the medicine act quicker. My medicine is I make my own tincture with the CBD. Um, I have medical marijuana prescription. I was prescribed that in uh, 20. 16 after the diagnosis of the spondylosis um, and my doctor after going through all these medications um, realized this was helping me so he didn't want to give me the prescription himself but gave me a little note and give to his nurses at the front I'm like I get a special referral please <laughs> so and I've been monitored by that because that's helped me and since then I have not done Percocets or Tylenol 3s. That's what I did mostly because I didn't want to get up into those other ones because the doctor says these are like three paper prescriptions. It's legal. You got to, I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't want anything that my body is going to come dependent on, right? Like, I don't want to get into that physical addictions where my body is physically craving it. And also, it hurts more after. So, since I've been prescribed this, I make my own tinctures, which is in here. Um, it's high CBD very low THC, so I don't get the high from it, right? But I do do a sativa, which is more of an energizing, because it's the day. So it helps me have that energy to get through the day, and it doesn't kill the pain, it just eases it so that I can be more mobile. But it doesn't kill it so that I end up hurting myself more. Um, so since then, since 2016, I don't take any kind of pills, not even a regular Tylenol or a regular Advil. I also make a rub, which is topical. So when I have migraines, I rub that on. Oh, and that's all I need. A little tincture under my tongue, rub that on my head. I'm all good. And I know everything that's in my medicine. So I make it myself. And it not only helps me, it's helped others. My Uncle Roy, uh, when he was going through at the end there to his transition oh they were calling me how do you make that because that was helping him more than all the medications they were giving him and he would rub it on and take it under his tongue too and that was the more simplistic part where I just uh, um, infused it into olive oil right so olive oil you could take it under your tongue and rub it on topically as well with my topical stuff I add other stuff to it as well so there's also other pain stuff in there too so but yeah I don't do anything else and, and then I smoke it at night because that's when I need the more overall relaxing. Kids are in bed and the, that that helps me sleep too, right? So, yeah. it's all good. But none of that pharmaceutical crap. No judgment. No judgment for those who need them, but sometimes it is overdone. And then our bodies become the body becomes dependent. The body craves it. There, there is an epidemic of these addictions of those pharmaceutical painkillers, right? And then the doctors won't prescribe them to you anymore, but your body still, right? I always felt worse after taking the Tylenol the next day, and I would try not to take them every your day. Phone is ah! Hang up your phone! That's my other BBS's your phone. phone. Yeah. Damn. Right? That's Shannon, your baby. Phone is I'll call her back. I'll, I know I'll you end want to up. answer the phone. You better pick up the phone. The phone is ringing. Isn't that awesome? Pick right. up your phone. Love it. Okay. Don't even try to ignore it. Pick up your phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to call her. Okay, that's good for today. Free flowing Fridays. Um, I don't know if I'll be on to do to do the dailies, but there is lots of videos. And I forgot to do the celebration. 150 daily guidance videos. Isn't that amazing? Soon there's going to be one for every day of the year and i've been thinking about that too a challenge and i'll have to get up for the challenge myself but maybe we'll start that in 2020 january 1st let's work towards that a full year challenge a full year of the daily vibes and guides a full year of connecting first thing in the morning hmm mm -hmm. i'm projecting so january 1st 2020 we'll start that <laughs> got lots of time to plan it then right we'll work on that and I'll send, I don't know, maybe I'll get into that email, send you a little email, a little reflection thought, and just as the day, a year of complete mindful intention. Ooh, daily intention. 
maybe. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. Let me know what you think about that. Any other suggestions for that? Okay. Love yous. Have a best day. Biggest heart hugs ever. Maybe I'll see you later for a quickie thing, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay? I mean, when the kids go, because they'll be gone the full weekend. So maybe I can get on a couple times this weekend, because I ain't going nowhere this weekend. I need to work at home. Okay? So love you all. Thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do, because you know this world needs you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. And weekend. All right. Long weekend. Celebrate. Have fun. <laughs>